Here are five editing tricks that will speed up your workflow and help you produce awesome work in Adobe Premiere Pro. Are you tired of color grading trying to find the perfect look for your project? Well, in this editing technique, I'm gonna show you how you can copy the color grading from your favorite movie or project. What you need to do is hover on top of the clip that you want to color grade, then go to Window Lumetri Color. Go to Color Wheels and click on Comparison View next to Color Match. Then make sure you import your reference frame or video clip that you want to copy the grade from. Then move your reference timeline to that frame that you imported. Then click Apply Match. And Premiere will do the best job it can to copy the color grade from that reference frame. And then we quickly hover to other shots and click apply match and it'll automatically apply it to that shot as well. And this isn't a perfect process so you may need to go to basic color correction and adjust the exposure and the blacks and all that of your scene to fit it perfectly. The next editing technique you need to know about is how to animate anything in 3D space. So perhaps you have a title that you want to rotate or even animate a logo in 3D space. To do this go to your effects window, go to video effects go to perspective and apply the basic 3D effect to your layer. Now you can animate any of the properties here. So I will animate swivel, move forward in my timeline and set it to 360 degrees. This will do a full rotation of my edit. And as another quick tip, you can edit the animation velocity of the keyframes by selecting them, right clicking and going to Bezier. Then you can open up the keyframe tab here and you have these handles that you can adjust to change the entire feel of the animation. And so that looks really cool. Our third editing technique is a brand new feature in Premiere Pro, which is called text-based editing. This allows you to import an interview, a podcast, or anything that has a lot of speaking to it and edit it based off of the transcript. So how this works is simple. Go to Window Text. Then I can click on Transcript and click on Transcribe for my shots. Premiere will analyze and create a transcript based on the audio of your shot. So with my transcript created, I can now read it and decide what I don't want to have in my edit. So for example, I could highlight all this text here and click on uh, lift or extract. And that will edit our clips. So I can quickly go through my transcript and see the different takes that we recorded and quickly edit those out. And you'll see that also spaces are highlighted. So I can delete spaces in the edit by selecting it and doing the extract key again. And obviously I can select specific sentences rather than whole blocks and edit that out as well. So text-based editing is a whole new way to edit your project just by reading the transcript. Another great editing technique you need to know about is how to add animations to your subtitle text here in Premiere Pro. So I have my transcript ready to go and I can click on the create captions icon to create subtitles. And then when I'm happy with my settings, I'll click on create captions. This will add the captions to a subtitle track in my timeline. I can select everything, go to essential graphics, go to edit, and decide to change up my text and all the other parameters. And now we have our subtitles here without any animations. To add animations to our subtitle, what we need to do is select everything, go to graphics and titles, and click on upgrade caption to graphic. This will add it into our timeline, which then we can go to the, one of the captions here, uh, go to effect controls. We can readjust the anchor point to be on top of our caption and our program monitor. Then we can add a keyframe for scale, move it forward by a few frames, set the scale to zero, and then go between the keyframes and set the scale up to say 120. Then what we can do is select the graphic here in the timeline, copy it, select everything else, right click and click on paste attributes, make sure motion is selected and click okay. And this will apply the animation to every subtitle right here in Premiere Pro. The last editing technique I wanna go through is being able to quickly edit your clips to the beat of the music. So this is great for montages or music videos. So the first thing we wanna do is obviously import our music and we can listen to the beat. But what we wanna do is for every beat, we wanna to go to marker and add a marker. Remember the keyboard shortcut. Then for every beat, we can just add a marker and I'll quickly go through the entire track. So now that my markers are in place, I can go ahead and import my footage. And here's my clips I want to edit into my edit. You don't have to name them in any number order at all. You can keep it completely random. But what we need to do is select our folder that all of our footage is in, go to clip and click automate the sequence. Then you can change the ordering of your sequence. I suggest making sure it's set to overwrite and select placement at unnumbered markers and check on ignore audio and click OK. And then this will automatically place the clips into your edit. And you may need to preview the edits and grab say the slip tool and just readjust those edits in your timeline so, so you can easily select the right timing of your footage inside your edits. Speaking of your edits, you can dramatically improve the value of your projects by using our free transitions with our Motion Duck extension. And you can drag and drop these transitions on top of your edit within a second. And bam, now you're rocking with a sick project. Check our links in the description below and if you want a full library of seamless transitions, you can check out the full pack as well. And if you do pick up the full pack, you'll be supporting what we do, so thank you very much. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for more post-production tutorials and always. 
be creating.